Hello, Mr. Shaw. This is Mr. Heath, your school principal. And I'm glad that we've got the standards-based report cards done to the Common Core State Standards. But let me tell you, I really want you to make sure that the students understand their data this year and also that the teacher, that the parents understand it. Can you work on that for me, please? from the office to make sure that I have all the necessary documents out and ready to go over in great detail at conferences this evening. So I'll do a quick walkthrough to make sure that I have things pretty well listed here. Uh, one of the things, of course, we'd always like to start with is our school parent partnership compact. And on that, we could focus in here a little bit better. It says, um, we will provide parents with timely and accurate assessments of student progress in meeting school achievement and performance requirements. So from that area, I'd like to focus in here on our Common Core documents that we've been trying to follow along here. So there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven documents we're trying to base our uh, curriculum on this year. And from that, we have designed different assignments. This would be an assignment listing uh, for one of our classes. And once we're done with the assignments, then we tie them directly into our standards-based report cards. So this would be uh, the language arts report card for the three marking terms that we're now into. And then, of course, down here we have one that is for math, and then we have our science and social studies one. Now, once we get those tabulated, formulated, and assessed, we then are able to put your student into an intervention program based on their needs, math and language arts. Now, another way that we get this data to decide where they need to go is every year, of course, uh, we have our DRA testing. And from our DRA testing, we then take the data that we've collected and we take it into this continuum paper where we assign percents and numbers to your child. Now, once that's formulated, based, of course, on their reading rate, which would take the words in the uh, document, and we would divide that by the total number of seconds, and then multiply that by 60 to get their words per minute. We can take that into our conversion chart over here, and we can convert it into reading A to Z score, a DRA score, a Lexile score, reading recovery score, and, of course, Font and Panella score. Now, we also use our Dibbles Next Progress Monitoring Booklet that also will give us a reading fluency score and then of course they are assessed on this day's document down here. Now once we're done with that particular assessment, all very important of course, we also base our educational needs on a document or test series from NWEA. This also prints out a very nice graph for parents so they can see where their child is headed. Now once we get this data, we dig a little bit deeper in here, and this will tell us the different goal strands that your child has either performed well on or, of course, needs some additional help. Now one other document this year that we have in our hands to go over, of course, is our state MEEP scores. So here we can inform the parents of uh, progress according to what the state feels. And then finally, parents, before you go, let's look at our traditional report card. So, oh, by the way, parents, I hate to say this, but I'm out of time for conferencing. Don't worry. Maybe next time. Why, just look at all these papers about my little bubby Joe. Why, I think he's just going on to college. Why, just look at all this data on him. Yes, there is a better way. Digitally recorded student-led conferences coming to a location near you.